Hey there, Late Game Reviewer here, and welcome to my channel. I just saw the Bethesda uh, showcase, and I took some notes. I ended up with a, I end up with like a lot of paper here, so yeah. I took some notes, and I want to share them with you. In case you didn't show, uh, you didn't see the Bethesda showcase. Well, uh, I guess it's going to be available in a video in a video form. If not, yeah, my beer is all empty here, so yeah, it's pretty late right now but I just wanted to uh, give my opinion on the showcase because well it's like fresh in my mind I'm and what you seeing there it's like the the uh, the post show with uh, Morgan and Webb uh, but hey it started off with a really cool trailer with uh, everything that Bethesda, uh, that Bethesda has been working on and like overall the Bethesda showcase I think it was great it was good then they show they started with uh, Doom 4 they're gonna use the id tech 6 engine and it looks like it's gonna be like the old-school doom uh, fast demons big guns and like you the, like they said fast demons big guns and fast gameplay which I'm really like really happy instead of getting the doom 3 one which was not supposed to be called doom but anyways I'm not here about that. It's like if you didn't see it, it, like they showed, like they're ripping the heart of demon. Like you can literally rip the heart of a demon, uh, break their legs, or wherever you point at the enemy or or the demon, you're gonna do something to them. Like break their jaw or something. Like it, it looks pretty cool and it's all fast, and it looks like it's in a uh, push forward kind of gameplay, which means you're not gonna go back or no no no. You want some health, you're not going to regen and like hit it, hide in a corner or something. No, no, you need to uh, shoot a demon. Like if you're 1 or 10 life uh, down and you need to do something. Oh my god, he's... I'm sorry, but I just need to get away. He's... His face. Can't take it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what? Let's take a Doom 4 kind of... Um, I would say, yeah, gameplay demo, I'm just gonna, yeah, right there, whoops, is it working, well, yeah, like the, like I said, it's like the, and there, you'll be able to break their legs and everything, it looks amazing, <clears throat> you got some power health, uh, like, uh, some uh, health pickups and everything, uh, let's see, is it that one? No, that's... Oh my god, what is that? What the fuck is that? What's some Doom? Yeah, that's the Doom I want. Good, let's... Get that to a really highly detailed, and... Let's stop on that, because I... Yeah. Yeah, you put on your mask, and that's when the fun starts. You get your, your health, and... Well, your health indicator, and your gun indicator. That's it. And that's your shotgun, which looks really cool. Let's stop it there, because I really need to concentrate on my stuff here, because that guy's face was... <laughs> it was breaking my concentration, I'm sorry. So, yeah, like sometimes when you pick up the shotgun or whatever weapons, you can literally make the body explode into pieces, which is freaking cool. It's going to be that kind of game. Uh, you also get loot from the ground, which is, looks... To me, it looks a bit silly because of the little um, outlines, like blue and red outlines or whatever. It, it, it looks a bit weird, but hey. And from the level I saw, it looks like an easy level design. But I have to play the game first, so I hope it's going to be like Doom, you know. And, it, like, everything's fast, from the jumping to the mantle to everything. It's It looks like it's going to be freaking fast. And yeah, you know what? Let's take a look at it here. It's what you see right there. So there's not going to be any sound for that. And like the almost everything, like you can see the shotgun right now, it looks different from the original and from what we see usually in games. It looks perfect. A lot of games just look different. Um, and the plasma gun, you're going to probably see that a bit later. It looks really cool. I mean, it's like shoot little blue balls that gets out. It's it's really really fast. But, well, no, not but, but it's like the guns in the old days, like, 
You see that little blue outline that I saw? It looks like that's one that when that happens, you'll be able to, I don't know, rip off their legs or something. And the same thing can happen to you. Like this little dude here, up, up there. Yeah, he, he'll be able to rip your legs off or something. And, yeah, you... <laughs> You also get some, you're going to be able to, yeah, breaking legs. My God, this is freaking cool. I don't know from what ch from what channel this is. You know what? Let's give him credit. Games HQ Media. All credit goes to him, not me. And, uh, yeah, it's not me. It's totally him. You know what? Let's let's pull uh, that off right there. And, uh, yeah, you also get the, the, like, the chainsaw, which allows you to slice demons up to any way you can. It's, li it's like Shadow Warrior when you take your sword and you can slice it the way you want to. It's, like, kind of dynamic. That's the way I got it. Uh, but I did see a demon slice the same way twice. So it's possible there's some limitations to the way you slice enemies. Uh, so it's not completely dynamic. I guess if that's the case, that's going to be really good, like a bad shitter. But I, I hope they're going to do something about that. And I did see some particle effects. I mean, you can see everything here. Like, uh, oh yeah, that dude. That's going to be awesome. You can see the smoke everywhere, uh, the lights, the uh, the particles when you uh, when the when they appear and everything. Looks like you're going to need like an Nvidia, like an Nvidia physics engine. Uh, not engine, but uh, the NVIDIA physics card. So you're going to need a NVIDIA physics card, I, I guess. And it looks like the guy, and I think um, his name was Marty, I believe. Yeah, it was Marty. It looks like you're going to need some... Uh, well, not you're going to need, but he played... Well, the footage you well that you're seeing right now, it looks like it's from... I'm going to play it anyways. It's from a controller, so you'll be able to play on a controller. So is it going to be the same thing for PC? I, I hope so. I'm going to play with a keyboard and mouse, but hey, if that's the case, it's going to be still good. And uh, But I do have to admit, when I saw the shotgun, not this one here, but the other one, yeah, that one, the, uh, the double barrel shotgun, you're going to see, it, it's just me, but it feels like there's a lack of, there's a lack of punch. Like the double barrel shotgun when you shoot from it, it's it's supposed to feel powerful. I don't feel that. There's a couple of guns, like the chain gun from what I saw. It doesn't have that that wow feeling like holy shit. Uh it doesn't look, it's there's a simple flash, your screen goes up a bit and that's it. It looks kind of shitty. It's it's really weird. Uh, I'm not happy about this one. I hope they're gonna try to improve on it a bit, cause I need it to be like really freaking beautiful, and it needs to have a punch. You see the blood coming off? <clears throat> I don't know if it's me, but there's a lack of blood. There's a bit of like of a smoky effect in front of you when you when you see the blood, but there's nothing else. And yeah, this footage is like in 720p, so it doesn't show a lot here. But yeah, you shoot them all, and there's no blood anywhere. I I don't know. They should look at Brutal Doom. They might get some some ideas. <laughs> uh, the real, like I said, the railgun doesn't feel badass. Um, <clears throat> like I remember when I saw the railgun, like oh, holy shit, this is gonna look awesome. I saw the railgun in this one, and it didn't do anything to me. It looks, it looked shitty. It it felt shitty. It it, it felt weak, not shitty. Like, the right word I'm trying to say is it looked weak. Or just on the same level as all the other guns. It should not feel that way. But <clears throat> then, you like, at the end, you see this, like, really super huge demon. I think it's the cyber demon, I guess. And you see the BFG, but that's it. There's nothing else. Um, that's it for this one. And then there's multiplayer. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, like the multiplayer and the I would say the level editor looks looks pretty good from what I saw. It's gonna be like an arena style, just like in the old days, like Doom and Quake, and the gameplay is supposed to be like that. Fast action paced action combat. It's gonna be like that. Um You can even also be a demon, like I saw that in the trailer and Marty in the post 
uh, in the post uh, show did confirm that because of a power up inside the game in multiplayer, you'll be able to talk to be a demon. That's going to be so freaking cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking forward to buy the game. It's it's really weird because I was not hyped or anything. I'm not hyped or anything, but it looks really good. And it's... Uh, when is it coming? It's coming... Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, spring 2015. Uh, 2016. And there's also... I think I saw it. I wrote it there. There's also some kind of editor. It's a snap map, it's called. I think it's their way of doing the multiplayer, uh, like a, like the level editor. You can create co-op maps. It can create some kind of Counter-Strike style map, which means um, you create and build uh, like, a, like a level where you shoot demons and you get to pick up their, like you pick up cash and then you can get, I don't know, health or weapons or, or armor or whatever uh, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff you'll be able to do uh, levels and yeah you just ripped off the arm of a guy and you used it to open a door freaking awesome and you also saw some kind of hollow reel so I don't know if there's gonna be any story element to it I that's the only thing I can tell I mean I like first-person shooters are great but I I did love Wolfenstein the New Order it looks like they got the story kind of adventure element and the fast action paced element mix really good I was looking for this one to be like that but I don't know if there's gonna be I, I, I'm not even sure is it gonna be like only fast action paced or is it going to be like story and just like the new, like uh, the new order Wolfenstein, but using the mix of uh, Doom and yeah, you're seeing the the chainsaw, which is really freaking cool. <laughs> That's what I can say from uh, from Doom Four. Overall, I I'm looking forward to it. I I can't wait to get the game. <clears throat> Not in a hype kind of way, but I can't wait for it to... I will definitely buy it. It looks really cool. It reminds me of my of my old school Doom that I've been playing. It's a reboot. It's not Doom 4. It's a complete reboot because it looks like they hate Doom 4. They don't like the word, like, like the number 4. It's it's uh, bad voodoo, I guess. I'm not, I don't know. So let's quit that. I'll just go to, I don't know, like Fallout 4, for example. Because I'll be honest, with the rest here, I'm not even sure here. Let's look at that, the official announcement. They saw a lot of footage, so that's going to be great. Uh, here it is. Uh, I'm just going to look through my paper. Yes, there's a lot. I, I tell you, man, there's a lot of stuff. So, for the rest, Battle Cry. I don't know. I don't care. It looks like Team Fortress with a mature look. I don't give a shit about that one. It looks stupid. It looks shitty. Yeah, for Dishonor, they really didn't... L I didn't play the game, I'll be honest. And it looks good, but they didn't show a lot. I don't know. I, I just... I can't say anything about it. Except that you'll be able to be either a woman or a man, and you can use your supernatural abilities. You get this really kind of weird setting, like cyberpunk setting, I, I guess. I'm not even sure. I don't know, I'm just not even going to talk about it either. There's like some kind of a stopping bomb that you can use and then you can use your powers to, or your weapons to, to kill, uh, like you can, well, kill everything. So you have two choices, just like in the original, from what I've heard, you can go full stealth or you can go full Rambo. I don't know. I'm not even interested of playing that game if I do see it on sale super cheap price I may look at it but hey it looks good it looks like the graphics looks pretty good and the world looks pretty good looks like from what I saw from the post uh, show in a couple of minutes it looks like they've put a like a little bit more details compared to uh, Dishonored but I can't tell anything else I don't know for Elder Scrolls it's an MMO I'm not interested as well um, I don't care about that I got a life I want a life you know MMO Elder Scrolls Legend, it's a strategy card game, the presentator or whatever he was, I can't remember his name, I think it was, I don't know, Marty or something, I think I'm naming it there, I don't know, I don't care, uh, 
I don't even care about strategy games. There's a, like there's one from Blizzard which I can't even remember with the name. Not even interested as well. <laughs> uh, it's on mobile devices as well, so I don't care. Then there's Fallout. So it's going to be all about Doom 4 and Fallout because that's what I've been waiting for. And I will get that game, Fallout 4. I, I have to admit I played Fallout 1 a very long time ago. I replayed it recently. Got my butt kicked. <clears throat> But I never played Fallout 3, but I will play Fallout 3. Uh, right after a couple of games that I reviewed, I will play that shit. Well, I'm currently playing Witcher 1, and after I'm done with that, I'm going to play Fallout 3, that's for sure. And Fallout 4 is coming November 10. So, yeah, I can't really wait for that. Where's my other paper here? So, for Fallout 4, what do we know and what's happening? It looks like it's going to start in the 50s or whatever setting. And it took four years to make, so that's a really, really like, really freaking long time. For what they've done, I think it's fast. Uh, it, it seems like there's a whole... It's a whole world out there. It's really big. Uh, there's a lot of details to the games. Like, for example, you can look at a panel, and it looks like every light, every ward, everything in the world. There's a lot of details. That's what he said. Uh, Todd, I believe, that's his name. Uh, <clears throat> then you start sculpting your face, so you look in a mirror, then you can choose from a woman and a man. <laughs> yeah, fuck you feminist, that's gonna shut you up a little bit. And uh, you'll be able to sculpt your face from... You can do everything it looks like. And you can... You It, it looks like you're the sole survivor of Vault 111, and it does happen in the future, like 200 years in the future. So you start in the 50s or whatever, then bam... 200 years later you have a wife you have a baby i have no clue they survived it looks like you're wondering yourself that sucks <laughs> well i think it's uh, like an excuse to play the game <clears throat> and it looks like there's going to be some dynamic volumetric lighting and some other thing that i didn't really pay attention because i was writing at the same time so it it looks good the world looks good from what i saw the dog looks shitty as hell again. And he never talked about that. He never mentioned anything about the quality of the dog. He should have. <laughs> My god, fuck you. <laughs> and it looks like in the like the dialogue will be dynamic, which means you start to talk with someone in the trailer inside the uh, the showcase. You were talking to oh man, what was his name? Cog Cogwealth or something. I I don't remember the name of the robot like the hovering flying robot uh but it looks like you can go away you can even shoot whoever you're talking to in the face it's dynamic you can do whatever you want it, it looks like it's an open world free of everything which means you can do everything you want there's no limitation whatsoever which is kind of cool because there's a lot of open world games that limits you sometimes in certain places in the world uh, depending on where you are in, in the storyline but it looks like not this one here so yeah um and you can also in the combat from what i saw you shoot someone i didn't play fallout 3 so it might be the same thing i'm not even sure but you shoot someone you highlight the area just like in fallout 1 because in fallout 1 you it's like a turn-based kind of uh, uh of a combat game so you highlight the specific part in which your hit of rating with your hit rating, I mean, you'll have a chance to hit the the monster or the person. So that's what you do. It looks like it's that way, but I think it's going to be in a like in a um, like a like in a real time action kind of uh, combat game. And um, it looks like it's happening in Boston as well. That's what he said. So it's confirmed. And there's this little uh, pit boy wristwatch that you can put on your, uh, let you get to uh, to get in the world, but in the game I mean, they made that in real life. So that wristwatch you'll be able to buy it in the like the collector's edition. You open it up, you put your cell phone in it, and there's a little app that you install, and you can use it there. It's like a shitty gimmick, but like he says, it's like the shittiest gimmick, like a stupid gimmick. But like he said, and from what I saw, it's the most awesome gimmick I saw. It's It looks fantastic. I have to admit, I want that thing. I really want it bad. <laughs> it looks it looks stupid, but I love it. It looks cool. It 
it serves nothing. There's no purpose. It's just a shitty little hab that you can do nothing with, I guess. There's probably going to be a couple of games, but why use your wrist? I mean, who cares about that? But it looks amazing. I think I want that. I'm going to look at the price, and I, I, I'll think about it. <laughs> Man. There's some holotapes you, uh, that you can watch on it. There's uh, some games that you can play on it. Now, you can also increase your stats. So what he said was you wanted to find a way to dynamically, uh, well, not dynamically, but find like an interactive and really cool way to increase your stats and play with your stuff on your like in your game. So that was a way to do it. Looks like it. <clears throat> and then there's this little game called Fallout Shinter, which is... I think by the time you view this video, it's out. I think it's on iPhone. I'm not even sure if it's on Android. It's some kind of a like management building game, which you build your own shelter and you take care of it. You're this little overseer kind of guy, and you take care of it, just like in a SimCity game. There's a lot of uh, stuff that you can build. There's you got to take care of everything, so you're the overseer. You even get to name uh, the babies. So. Yeah, uh, you can do that. You'll be able to... It looks like it's heavily influenced by Progress Quest. I didn't take a look at it. I don't even care. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff to do. There's, there's like accidents that can happen, like raider attacks, fires, and a lot of stuff. It looks like it's a good game. It's free to play. The only thing you can pay for... I think it's the launch boxes inside the game, but it's free to play. It's not like a time thing, like you build something, you, you gotta wait five minutes or one hour or something. No, it's not that. It's it's completely free, so I think they made it correctly, this one. Bethesda made it like a... It's gonna sound weird, but a good mobile game. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look to see if it's available on Android, and I'm gonna decide for that. But first I gotta change the screen because my kid just threw it on the floor. And the screen just completely busted out. So, yeah, I gotta spend a hundred dollars on that. Uh, if you want kids, just think about it. And it looks like there's gonna be a lot of details to the world, a lot of items to the world, which the crafting comes into play. You can see like duct tapes, uh, radios, you can see a lot of stuff like steel crap, uh, I don't know, tires or whatever. You get to pick them up and use them, so you can build yourself a house, a shelter, a whole base, for example. Uh, defenses as well, and you'll need to make defenses because those raiders from the game that I saw, from the trailer that I saw, they will come in and shoot you. Uh, they, sorry, beer was good. They will come in and attack you. This is going to be really great. But from what I saw. Um, the raiders, like, I saw this kind of hallway, and there was two kind of defense lasers or something, which triggers, like, a defense, and that one, I, if I'm correct, uh, it triggered some kind of fire and some guns. The raiders continued. So the AI of the raider looks fucking shitty. I hope they're gonna do something about that. Uh, I guess from the trailer, a lot of people will talk about it, so eventually they'll get feedback from that alone. So, I personally thought that the Raiders were really shitty. I mean, don't you think if you run across, like, the laser thing that triggers the defenses, you should start, like, hey, why don't I shoot the trigger first, then go straight to the guy and kill him? That didn't happen in the game. I don't know. <clears throat> I hope there's gonna, there's gonna do something about that. And yes, there's a lot of crafting to do. You're gonna need a lot of parts, or you're gonna need to scavenge a lot. It looks like it's a game built on exploration, more on exploration. Like, the game is supposed to be great, and from what I saw, I have to admit, I look forward for Fallout 4. This is something that I can look forward to. And, again, the, the, yeah, the dog looks shitty, and for some reason you can build, uh, you can shoot teddy bears. I don't know, that was the stupidest thing I saw, but it looks cool anyways. And yeah, you can build your power armor. Um, what I can say in conclusion, in my mind, Doom 4 is going to be my 2016 game for me to buy. And this year, it's going to be Fallout 4. I'll try to get the collector's edition, and I will try to do a unbox, I believe, I guess. I'm not even sure. Uh, this will be, well, if there is a, like, an unbox thing. Well, anyways, 
Uh, what do you think about all that? About the uh, Bethesda showcase or whatever I said? I can't wait for Fallout 4 and Doom 4. I mean Doom. <laughs> yeah, for me it's still Doom 4, but anyways. My name is Light Game Reviewer, and I'll see you next time.